Hey, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of rooting. So, lots of people end up rooting, and then they end up messing up their phone or tablet. So, for me, I've always been rooted. I have my tablet rooted, and my phone was rooted before. But when I went from iOS, and jailbreaking is much less dangerous, because you can't really break your phone. But... When I first rooted my Galaxy S3, I wasn't paying attention to the instructions and I was kind of doing stupid things and I ended up getting it stuck in a boot loop and I panicked and went to the AT&T store and luckily they gave me a new one. But um, for most of the people, and I'm sure if it happened to me again, I don't think they're going to give you a new one. If they see that it's brick, they're going to say, you voided your warranty and not our problem. So. One of, there are a bunch of cons on rooting, but there's also a bunch of good things on rooting too. First, I'll go over the pros. So one of them is custom ROMs. You get install ROMs that let you do cool things, like landscape mode. I can also now have Beats Audio, Apollo Camera. Um, I have ROM Toolbox, which lets me change my boot logo and all that and make it I can even make a tablet UI um, no ads backups and yeah that's just a couple of the things you could do you could even connect your PlayStation controllers or Xbox controllers to this so those are all the pros and there's a lot of them you could do so many things. You could basically have a Nexus 7 look like anything you want. Maybe you get a Galaxy S3, you want it to look like a Nexus device. You could make it look pure jelly bean before you even before the phone actually even gets jelly bean. And there's just a lot of things you could do with root. And I know lots of people with Android users root. So now let's go over the cons. One of the cons is that if you install a ROM that is not specifically for your device, the ch good chances are you're going to brick it and you're going to lose it. Another one is when you unlock your bootload, bo bootloader. So for Nexus 7 you have to do that. Um, and for everything else, but here you do it manually. Um, you lose your warranty. So if you end up bricking it or anything, you're screwed. There's nothing you could do unless you somehow unbrick it and unroot it. I mean, there are ways to unroot it, but if you get bricked, I don't, it's really hard to unroot it. So, lots of people also get stuck in boot loops. Those are kind of easier to fix. All you really have to do is go back into recovery mode and get out of it. You just go and back up. One of the main problems that people have is they don't back up when they first get it. And that's one of the main things you need to do. So I'm going to show you how to make a backup and restore. The first thing you're going to do is go into the Play Store. And download ROM Manager. And you'll see it right there. I have the pro version, which I suggest you get because it gives you a lot more options. You get the free version too. So after you're done, you go into ROM Manager. And then you want to go, and at the bottom, they have a bunch of choices. You could go into, um, you could go into recovery mode, you could check if you have ROM updates you can also go down and that's where you'll see backup current ROM so let me quickly download premium that's how the easiest way to download premium go in there and install it and what it lets you do is it makes backups and manage your Re and if you need to restore it, so if you have a problem, you could go back and restore. 
So as you can see, you could check for updates. When it doesn't have any. You could download ROMs in from the web, install ROMs from SD card, boot into recovery mode, and you could also back up current ROM. So if you click on that, it'll make up a back it'll take you and do everything automatically and it'll back it up. And if you ever have a problem with a ROM, you click on manage and restore backups. And it'll be right there. You just click on it and restore. And it'll restore it back to normal. You could also flash your ROMs from there and do a bunch of stuff like that. So those were some of the pros and cons of rooting. I root my devices because I want to have full control of them. But maybe it's not for everyone. So please subscribe. Hope you like the video. And thanks for watching.